This is one of the first dishes I ever made when I first went vegan. I don't remember where I originally came across the recipe, but I remember thinking this is made in the Instant Pot with mushrooms? Okay, I can do that. And so the first time I made it, it was an instant hit. I loved it and Q loved it, so of course, it went into my recipe book. It is actually the very first recipe in here. So I've made it many times now over the last almost five years. And while I have, of course, tweaked it to suit our taste buds, it is still one of the best and easiest vegan recipes. And it's perfect for summer because everything cooks in the instant pot. You don't need to turn on your stove or oven. And we are gonna serve it as lettuce wraps. This recipe is originally from Candace of the Edgy Veg. She has an amazing YouTube channel and amazing recipes. She actually has a new cookbook coming out. So I will link all of her info in the description description box down below. So for this recipe, we are using black oyster mushrooms, but you could also use king oyster mushrooms instead. I've used those many times before, or you could even do other kind of veggies if you prefer. So one of the ways I've made this our own is by adding tofu. And for this recipe, I'm just using previously frozen tofu. As I've mentioned before, it helps draw out extra water. All you need to do is wring it out with your hands. You don't need to use a tofu press. I've also adjusted the sauce to our tastes a bit. I use a little bit less sugar and less sesame oil. So I will leave all those adjustments in the description box down below. And just an FYI for your Instant Pot lid, you can change out these ceiling rings. So this dish in particular has a lot of strong flavors. When I make it, I do like to change out the ring so that our oatmeal doesn't also have those strong flavors the next time I cook it. So if you wanna check out these extra ceiling rings, I will link them down below. Now don't worry if it comes out very saucy, that is how it's supposed to be. And the sauce is delicious goodness that you can add to your rice when serving. And then to round out this meal prep, I'm also gonna prepare some rice and some herbs and veggies. And I like to serve this with a little bit of vegan kimchi. This is totally optional, but it is delicious. If you've never had kimchi before, definitely keep an eye out for it. But just keep in mind that not all kimchi is vegan. You do need to find a vegan version that doesn't have any fish sauce in it. I really love this recipe. Not only is it fast and easy, but I feel the ingredients are simple enough that I think pretty much everyone will be able to find them. And you've got to check out Candice from The Edgy Veg. I will link her channel right here, as well as in the description box down below. And with that, let's eat plants, and I'll see you guys next time.